welcome to another video. In today's video, Trump was shot and that guy missing his shot was the end of democracy. And let me explain to you how come. Trump is now going to win, without a doubt. By Trump winning Project 25, that's gonna seem mild in comparison to what's going to happen now. Now this guy is obviously a lone wolf. I guess it's 99% he's a lone wolf and 1% he's MK Ultra. And let us remember that MK Ultra is definitely not the left wing. So, but the fact that that guy is a lone wolf is not gonna matter to the right wing because the right wing does not care about facts. They don't care about the truth, justice, right, wrong. They care about power. And they have brainwashed cults more than enough to get where they're trying to go. This narrative that it was an intentional lapse in security is just BS. Number one, the weather's insane. It's hot all over the place. Number two, Trump has been holding rallies nonstop for almost 10 years. Do you not think there's a level of fatigue that sets in with this endless schedule of all these rallies for his security forces? That's reality. And let's not forget, this is not the first time someone has tried to kill him. They arrested someone else at one of his events. I don't remember if he had a gun or what. I don't remember, but this is the second assassination attempt. Now, the first one didn't even go anywhere. So the fact that, there's, that the people are trying to say that it was intentional, I, I don't believe that for a second, okay? I believe that there is a level of fatigue that is setting in. Look at the gear those guys have to wear. It's hotter than blazes all over the place. And they're wearing, you know, body armor and stuff. Okay, it's absolutely insane in the direct sunlight up on a roof. Okay, oh, they didn't have guys up on all the roofs. Yeah. I don't blame them. It's hot as F. I mean, yeah, you blame them because that's their job, but I mean, that's reality. I don't believe for a second there was an intentional lapse in security. The guy was killed in like, like literally three seconds or something like that, okay? What they're going to do is, I mean, if that guy had never shot, Trump may or may not have won. And when he got into office, if he won, then he would have had a more difficult time implementing the things that he wanted to implement. Because the guy missed his shot, the things he wanted to implement are gonna be easy. And it's gonna go so far beyond. And they're gonna use the guy. And they're gonna say he's like the center of a giant conspiracy. And they're going to tie every, like, AOC, Bernie, oh, Ilhar Oman, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi. You know, they're going to tie everybody. They, and they don't care about the facts because they already have the judiciary in their pocket. It's a bunch of right-wing kooks are all the judges now. It's over. End of the United States. The guy missed his shot, and that was the end of the United States democracy. It's very sad, but that is the reality that we are working with now. The United States, as a democracy, is done, and the people who are going to unravel it are going to make this look like the banana republic they keep screaming that we are, that we aren't actually, but they're going to turn us into that. 
Banana Republic coming soon on crack because we're the United States and it's not just us that are foobar it's the whole planet we're all screwed everything I've been working on for the past years to try to get this environment in Central Oregon switched over to where we are prioritizing humans instead of juniper trees okay that's a climate change issue the juniper trees are drinking up all the water and Trump's gonna win and literally no one is going to care the junipers are gonna continue to drink all the water the region is gonna dry up and there's nothing I can do about it now if we had a path to Biden I mean he literally said in his last big uh, State of the Union fill the drained wetlands that's exactly what this area needs all that's done and gone it's it's gone so now anybody watching this video peace good luck and if you're like me and you've been living your life extremely trying to avoid killing people like I my whole life like driving down the road and stuff being paranoid that I'm gonna accidentally like run over a little kid in a crosswalk or something like that right like I don't want to kill anybody I don't want to ruin their lives and their friends lives and all those lives and have my mind twisted so I, you know and that's what the United States is gonna devolve into a fucking killing field it's gonna be horrifying you don't want to see it peace